You've probably all heard of the famous film Pirates of the Caribbean, which entertained us with fantastical humor and carried us along on their treasure hunt. But what about actual pirates and their attacks? Have you ever considered how to stop these assaults? Got your attention? Then watch the video to learn the answers and more details. Two skiffs fired shots at the MT Leopard Sun in February 2018 from the coast of Somalia. The security team of the ship returned fire and the boat escaped. Not less than a movie, right? There were 58 instances of piracy and armed robbery against ships between January and June 2022. A lot is happening around us, yet we are unaware of it. Let's start from the beginning. What is piracy? What causes them to attack ships? How harmful are they? A general definition of piracy is a robbery or other violent crimes committed at sea. Usually is carried out by passengers or crew from one ship against another, and the motivation is selfish gain, even at the expense of innocent lives. With semi-automatic weaponry and covert operations, modern-day piracy is substantially more sophisticated and gives the pirates a better chance of success against ships ready for pirate attacks. RPGs and AK-47s have both been used by pirates in the past, along with other lethal weapons. Though it has changed over the years, maritime piracy, the looting, hijacking, or detention of a ship in international waters remains a problem for international law. Human aid is directly affected by maritime piracy costs and suffers as a result. The question is, what precautions you might take to improve your chances of survival in the case of a pirate attack? First, taking a few precautions before entering pirate territory is wise. Ensure your ship is coated with barbed wire, especially around the gangway. Perform the onboard drills for a pirate attack before you set sail and have the fire hose ready. Before approaching pirate waters, inform the International Maritime Security Center and shut all entrances leading to an open deck. Keep a close eye on the outside of the ship from all angles. Alert the nearest coastal security agency that a pirate attack is imminent so they can prepare to protect your boat. Set the ship's speed to its maximum RPM and accelerate aggressively to create a wave and stop the pirates. Stay hidden to protect yourself from pirate guns and launchers. Use non-lethal weapons as well to prevent an attack if pirates get close. One of the most significant ways to defend your ship against pirate attacks is to be vigilant. To avoid being seen, pirates often sneak up on targets and strike during dawn and dusk. It's also a good idea to alert the Navy and send mayday signals or satellite messages as soon as possible in the event of a pirate attack. Remember that non-lethal weaponry can also be a form of intimidation, leading the pirates to pick on a less dangerous target. Non-lethal anti-piracy techniques are currently popular. The crew of the cargo ship MV Africa Star headquartered in Israel and was assaulted by nine pirates in April 2009, utilized coils of barbed wire to keep the attackers from scaling the ship. A significant piracy attempt was prevented using non-lethal anti-piracy methods, a method employed to protect vessels in piracy-affected areas. Since then, there have been several advancements in anti-piracy technology, including the introduction of various potent non-lethal weapons or ships to deter piracy attacks. Many anti-piracy tools might be employed to combat piracy at sea. Some other techniques are the Long Range Acoustic System or LRAD. A long range acoustic device uses a pain-inducing sound beam to scare off would-be pirates. It is a non-lethal anti-piracy gadget. The sonic weapon generates a high-pitched noise that is louder than an average person can tolerate. Laser Anti-Piracy Device The anti-piracy laser device employs a non-lethal laser beam to momentarily divert pirates by giving them a visual warning. The ship's crew can efficiently operate the laser gadget, which may be employed both during the day and night. Water Cannon Another non-lethal weapon that is frequently employed on commerce ships is the water cannon. The apparatus shoots out an unstoppable jet of water as a means of deterring pirates from attempting to board the ship. Electric Safety Fence An electric fence that encircles the ship and discourages pirates from scaling it makes up the electric fence non-lethal system. When not in use, the system's collapsible bar may be folded and stored safely. Boat Traps and Nets When pirate boats approach the commerce ship, they can be stopped using a specific ballistic net called a boat trap. Wow, these tools sure are interesting. How do you feel? There are also a lot more weapons available. Let's see if these methods influence the attacks or whether the technologies were efficient. 
The first three months of 2021 saw nearly half, that's 43% of all reported piracy events, according to the most recent data from the ICC, International Maritime Bureau, IMB. Thanks to the efforts of the ICC, International Maritime Bureau, which has played a crucial role in raising awareness to make traversing the world seas safer, this number, while still high, is the lowest since 1994. Since March 2017, there have been no reports of successful hijackings, and since 2013, both attempts and attacks have dramatically decreased. In a statement from 2021 on piracy and armed robbery in the sea off Somalia, piracy occurred six times per month in 2021, a 33% decrease from the monthly averages of 2019 and 2020. Five accidents occurred each month in the first three months of 2022. These statistics unquestionably demonstrate that anti-piracy technologies have succeeded in achieving their goals and that these attacks may soon cease. Self-defense is also crucial since vessels can take particular actions to resist an attack. It is essential to ensure that everyone can leave in an emergency, such as a fire, and that nobody gets trapped inside. Crew members must be appropriately protected against ballistics since pirates frequently fire at the bridge to stop a vessel. After all, the value of life can never be replaced. Maritime piracy is unquestionably illegal and even violates international law. Pirates receive penalties for comparable offenses, ranging from four years to living in jail. Globally, the average sentence is 16 years, which is quite long compared to the terms handed out by international tribunals for crimes against humanity. So what did you find about piracy and how to combat it? Now that you know what to do in the event of such attacks, Keep in mind that prevention is always preferable to treatment. Did you guys enjoy the video? Leave a comment below and if you agree, please follow us so we can start a journey of more informative videos. You won't miss our fresh content. If you're new, subscribe, click the bell icon to get updates, like and share the content.